Everything you need to know about EDC Las Vegas' nine iconic stages broken down by genre. Hey guys, I'm Emma. I'm a festival content creator and I have done EDC Las Vegas seven times. And one of the most common questions I get is what are the stages and what genres are present at each of them? So in this video, I'm going to break them down for you. So first up, we have Kinetic Field, which is your main stage. It's a different design every single year. So this year it will reflect Kinetic Awakening, which is the theme for 2023. So think of this as your main headliners. All genres are represented here. So you could get a little bit of everything. Iconic names like Tiesto, Zed, Chris Lake, Galantis are here, but you also have rising artists like Cora Lova, Martin Horger, and Pauline Hare. Circuit Grounds is easily my favorite stage. It's also a mix of genres. Think of this as your secondary main stage. It's absolutely massive. It usually has these huge LED screens that wrap around it. But again, depending on the day, you could go from like a res set into a slander into an Eric Prids. So you never know what genres you're going to get. It's a mix of everything, but still some of the biggest names in dance music. Cosmic Meadow is the only grassy area in the raceway. It's such a vibe it's presented by hard so i feel like you get a lot of edgier artists like there's a lot of bass house house on here a lot of trap uh bass music as well but it's really kind of like fun upbeat high energy sets if you love the underground and you thrive in club culture neon garden is for you this is where techno lives and breathes you have the factory 93 experience which is the techno branch of insomniac events you also have a lot of house music on here so sometimes house artists will play into that darker sound um, but i would highly recommend azeka eli brown art bat is fantastic patrick topping rainer zonneveld will clark like this is one of my favorite stages for sure now, if you guys are into bass music, your home is going to be at Bass Pod, which is presented by Bass Rush. So this is going to be all things bass music. So harder stuff, you're going to get melodic dubstep, you're going to get drum and bass here, your OG dubstep artists. Like this is all things bass music. It is intense. It's fun. It's high energy. It's a good time. Quantum Valley is for you if you guys want to dabble in trance music. It is uplifting, it is melodic, it is euphoric. You also have a lot of side trance here. You've got some deep house and melodic techno present this year on Sunday as well. So really, really incredible vibes here. On the total opposite end, go to Wasteland if you guys want hard dance music. This is presented by BassCon. This is heavy, driving, in your face, hard dance, hard style, happy hardcore, all of that. Stereo Bloom is one of my favorite stages. It's a smaller stage, but it's all things house music. This is presented by Insomniac Records. Tech house, bass house, fun, bouncy, high energy. It's such a good time, guys. I spent a lot of time here during the weekend, so definitely don't sleep on Stereo Bloom. The Bionic Jungle is the newest stage, and this celebrates all things like old school house music, classic house, OG pioneers who started the genre. So this is a great one if you guys want to experience true house music.